It's nappy hour. Although, I'll try to keep this video under an hour. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Kate Arnell. I hope you're well. Today's video is a little bit of a roundup of the cloth nappies I chose and why. And that's it. That's basically it. I don't want to oversell this thing. It's just a video about cloth nappies. So I was really keen to use cloth nappies. It's actually one of the few things I was super excited about during pregnancy. If you watched my previous video on a little life update, then you'll know that I found pregnancy a pretty miserable time. But um, when things like the cloth nappies arrived um, towards the end, I was like, oh, I'm quite excited to use these. It kind of gave me a little, little spur on, <laughs> which I know sounds really sad, but I do get a bit of a a sort of kick out of finding nice reusables. So it turns out I was actually raised in cloth nappies myself, which I didn't realise until recently when I was chatting to my mum. Uh, and she said, I mean, they were a lot more basic back in the day. It was literally like a square of toweling material that you folded and then you covered with a plastic wrap cover, which was also reusable. So that was kind of cool to find out that I'd personally worn them. I have zero memory of wearing them. Let's start off by saying, if you feel overwhelmed by the world of cloth nappies, I get it. Man, have they made something that should be so simple, so simple, like super complicated or overwhelming. It's not complicated. I think once you get into it, it's not complicated. But when you're entering the world of which reusable nappy to choose, um, or a nappy system, as they can be called, it can feel really overwhelming. And I think that often puts a lot of people off. But I tried to take a really simple approach to choosing uh, the cloth nappies that we chose. So ages ago, like even before I was thinking about having a baby, I was on the Life Without Plastic website, having a browse, and I came across the brand Baby Greens. And I just really liked the fact that they were made from all natural materials. So it's a mixture of hemp and organic cotton. And instead of having a plastic outer, which is like a waterproof layer that goes over the top of the nappy, it had wool outers and I love wool. I think wool is an amazing, amazing material. I thought, wow, I really like those. I like the simple design. I like that they use natural materials and they use hardly any plastic. There was only just a little bit for the poppers, which I've since found out is PVC, PVC three, I keep wanting to say three, which I've since found out is PVC free. There we go. I'm not having any one take wonders today. <laughs> Before I prattle on some more, let me actually get one of the nappies to show you. So this is what the nappy looks like when it's folded up. Now, fun prints are fun for a lot of people. I get it. Lots of people like fun prints, especially on nappies, but I'm not a fan. Just, it's personal taste. I just like a plain looking nappy. Um, I just, it's just the busyness of prints. I don't know, I've always been like that, even with my own clothes. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of a print. I like a stripe, I like a spot, and I like plain, but each to their own. So this is what the nappy looks like without the cover. This is just the nappy folded up. And I also really like it because it's a one size fits most. So from birth to potty, they call it. Um, so it should last for up to around two to three years. So to adjust the size of this nappy for a younger baby, all I did was take out the insert and place in a smaller insert, then folded down the top part of the nappy to reveal some hidden poppers on the inside, and then just fastened it as normal. And you can see it creates a nappy with a much shorter body. Ideal for a younger baby. Now saying that, I did buy a few of the newborn size, and it's actually quite lucky because we had ended up having a slightly smaller baby. I've got one here, where is it? It's gone, oh, oh my gosh, okay. This is, I can't, I can't believe he was that small. I can't believe it. <laughs> he was that dinky. So I did buy some of the uh, newborn size just in case. And it's really hard to know before your baby arrives what what size they're actually gonna be. Um, so I thought, you know what? Let's just get a few of these just in case. And I'm really pleased I did. I mean, can you see the difference? <laughs> <laughs> they also have a little fold down button at the front there so it doesn't rub up against the belly button uh, which can be a sensitive area straight after birth or in the first few weeks and um, so you want to allow it to heal obviously because it's where the umbilical cord was attached so you can fold that bit down um, and it makes it just a heck of a lot more comfortable for them this unfolded looks like that and it doesn't come with any kind of liner or anything. So I just added extra boosters to increase the absorbency if I needed to. This 
one size fits most nappy has a popper in liner thingy <laughs> you won't be getting all the terminology with me this is a liner thingy um and you can basically add more of these i've got various sizes i've got that one so you can add that in or smaller ones these are all from baby greens they've basically got the whole thing the whole lot um so you can add more of these in if you want to make it more absorbent so that's what i do at night time during the day i just use that as it is unless i feel like he needs an extra boost and then at night time i layer in a bunch of boosters of various sizes depending on what we've got available often feels wetter on the outside than it does on the inside so sometimes when i've taken this off it's felt like oh you've got quite a wet nappy and then i feel the inside and you can feel that it just doesn't feel anywhere as damp as it does on the outside um, so that's obviously the, the fibers drawing it away and more towards the outside than the inside which is great so that's what they look like at the front and behind I also really like the company Baby Greens. I went on their website, did a bit of geeking out about them and just really liked their whole ethos. It really resonated with me. So these are a US brand, but I was lucky enough to find a UK retailer that sells them and they are called Funky Monkey Pants. I'll put a link to them in the info box below as well. Now they had quite a limited stock in terms of numbers. So they had most of the products, but they didn't have, or most of the range, but they didn't have um, huge quantities of each item. So I emailed them and said, hey, I need to make a biggish order. Could I just send you a list of exactly what I need and you can order it directly from the brand? Uh, and they did, they were super, super helpful. I think these were all basically made to order, <laughs> which is really sweet. I also really like that these are shaped nappies. So they're actually shaped, there's no folding that you need to do. I did consider doing foldable nappies, you know, flat nappies. Um, but I'm really pleased I didn't. In the early weeks, I was in survival mode. <laughs> so trying to fold nappies then, I don't think would have worked for my situation, but some people are quite happy to give it a go and take to having a baby with ease and grace. And something else I thought about was the resale value of these. So they are pricey as nappies go, but that's something I was willing to spend money on because I knew it would bring me great joy and I just felt very passionate about using cloth nappies. Also, there are various other baby bits and bobs that we didn't buy. So I felt that it was justified to spend a little extra on nappies and I figured they have some resale value. So once we're done with them, I might keep one or two for sentimental value <laughs> reasons, <laughs> but the rest of them I'm more than happy to sell on. And I think, I could make some of the money back. So you might be wondering why I personally didn't buy any secondhand nappies, which can be a really great affordable option. It's also a great way of trying different styles if you're not sure what's gonna work for you and your baby and your lifestyle. Um, personally, I just knew exactly which brand I wanted. I love that they used only natural materials and I was really keen to support them. I did have a little look to see if I could find any secondhand ones by Baby Greens, but at the time that I was looking, there weren't any available, especially in the UK. I also bought a few of these nappies by Thirsties, and it was purely out of intrigue because I'd heard some good things about bamboo as a material and the fact that it's super absorbent. And I just wanted to see if these were any more absorbent um, than hemp and organic cotton mixture. Honestly, I think hemp is one of the most absorbent materials out there and it dries fairly quickly and it's a super sustainable fiber. So in my book, hemp is probably the best material out there. Um, but I just wanted to see what these are like. I love the shape of them. I think they're a really nice fit. This is also a birth to potty nappy um, and you can use the poppers at the front just to change the size of it. This also needs a wool cover, which I just used the ones from Baby Greens. These just i think probably from the dryer they just feel like they're fraying ever so slightly and just look more worn if you know what i mean i don't know if that's just bamboo material in general or um whether it's the fact that we use a dryer it could be a bit of both that's what they look like on the inside it comes with a clippable thing <laughs> <laughs> words are failing me now but i feel like they tend to hold stains more um, not that I'm really that bothered by a bit of staining, but I feel compared to these, these definitely tend to harbour the stain a little bit more. Um, 
top tip, which you probably already know if you're already into this world, but if you're not, to bleach these or remove stains, basically wet them or take them straight out of the wash when they're still wet and put them in sunlight and it will naturally bleach away the majority of the stains. And it's worked in like surprisingly well. I wasn't expecting it to work that well, but it works really well. Also something else to note about bamboo material is that it takes ages to dry. So unless you have a dryer, don't go there. Lots of people might be thinking, hey, using a dryer, that isn't that eco-friendly, but we live in a flat that's quite small. We don't have, really have a huge amount of space to hang out lots of laundry. Um, so we have a dryer. I also just didn't want nappies hanging around everywhere. And I have to say, it makes the nappies a lot softer. So we have tried drying them um, just naturally outside um, when we went down to Cornwall to stay with family. And it did, they are a bit stiffer and a bit um, harder. They, they were fine. We still used them. Arthur still seemed comfortable. But the dryer definitely softens them a lot. Um, but I will say we use dryer balls, which are wool balls, and they help to speed up the drying time. I think they aerate or create more airflow within the machine. And I think they help use less energy as well. And on that note, we do have a green energy supplier. We are with Good Energy. Others are out there. Others are available. But I really like Good, en good Energy and would highly recommend them. And it just makes mum life a heck of a lot easier. So um, yeah, personally, I've got nothing against a dryer. Just don't put the wool covers in the dryer. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the wool covers or outers or whatever the terminology is. This basically goes over the top of the nappy and creates a, it's not waterproof because it's wool, but it does have some water resistant properties, which is why it's been used as the material for the outer. I really like the fact that it's breathable. It's obviously a natural material and I just really like the look of them as well. And I love wool. Like I said before, I love wool. With the wool covers, you do need to buy different sizes, whereas the nappy is designed to grow with your baby. It's just one size. These are Oikotech, Oikotech? I never know how to say it, certified merino wool. Um, so this is the one with the poppers. It's basically the same shape as the nappy and just goes over the top. And then the other style I have, which I actually prefer, are these. They're like little shorts and they just slide on. They feel slightly slimmer in the fit, so they feel slightly less bulky when they're on. Um, and I just think they look super cute as well. This pair, I must confess, is a larger size that we haven't used yet, which is why it looks so pristine. Actually, the newborn one, the newborn size, is, looks pretty decent as well. Again, we only used it for a couple of months. No, maybe even a month. This is one that we've used quite a lot, and you can see it's gotten a bit bobbly and a little bit stained from where I've lanolized it. So with the wool outers, uh, we do need to lanolize them, which basically means putting the natural uh, oils back into the wool. Um, we only need to do that once every six weeks or so. And actually, I have to say, you don't have to wash these wool outers every time you use them. If they just get a little bit of wee on them or feel a little bit damp, you can just basically hang them out to dry or let them dry between changes. So I always change to a new wool outer every time I do a nappy change. So I have a separate one and let the previous one air out and dry a little bit. And I will say that in the <laughs> sleep deprived, bleary eyed um, state of early parenthood, we shrunk a few. <laughs> it became a bit of a bugbear of mine. I was like, how can no one see there's a difference between wool and cotton? This is clearly wool. Stop putting it in with the cotton. And we only really need to wash them if they get poo on them, which happens so rarely. If I need to clean them, if I do get any actual poo on them, I will use a bar of soap, natural soap, and spot clean them. And then if I feel like they need it, I'll throw them in the wash. Otherwise, I'll just vigorously clean that one little area. Oh, I forgot to say, these need to be washed. I think with any cloth nappy, actually, you need to wash it about five times or rinse it five times before the first use ever. And then moving forward, you just wash it normally. Um, to make the fibres super absorbent, it helps the nappy become really absorbent. I don't know what the science is behind all of that, but on the care and instructions page of the Baby Greens website, it gives you a whole bunch of info about how to prepare the nappies before first ever use and moving forward, how to look after them. So I'll link that in the info box below. Did I say we wash them every two days? I can't remember, but we basically wash roughly every two days or when the nappy bucket gets full. And to clean them, I mean, it's pretty simple. I basically followed the instructions on the Baby Greens website, which said, 
And I think the Nappy Lady website says the same thing, or various websites suggested doing the same thing. So this is what we do. Once the nappy bucket is full, and I should say that we have a dry pail or a dry nappy bucket, so I don't soak the nappies in any sort of solution or anything like that, it's dry. I also don't bother with a liner for the bin because I'm not that fussed about touching them. I'll just throw them straight in. Um, if there's any poo on them, I'll give them a little jiggle and a flush around in the loo first to remove it. And then we pre-rinse on a short pre-rinse cycle. And that means that the water is completely separate from the main wash. Then I do a full on long-ish, I mean two and a half hour wash. But basically pre-rinse and then set these to a full wash. And I like to do, I alternate between 60 degrees and 90 degrees um, wash. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You'll have to do the conversion yourself. But 60 to 90 degrees Celsius, which it sounds, it sounds hot but I just feel like it's properly cleaning the nappies. Again, I live in London in a hard water area, so I should probably do a whole other video on laundry because <laughs> some of what we do might surprise you. But I found that going hotter in the wash on everything, so around 40 degrees, means that the clothes don't smell of feet. And if you live in a hard water area, You'll know what I'm talking about, especially if you don't want to use more synthetic-y fabric softeners. And again, never use fabric softeners with a cloth nappy. It coats the fibres and makes it less absorbent and just ruins it. These come with a bit of extra laundry in general, reusable nappies. But Arthur loves helping out with the nappy laundry. He loves sorting it through with us. It's so sweet. Um, so he likes taking it out of the basket and handing the various bits to me and I'll pop the inserts in back together and, and create different piles of wipes and nappies. Um, and it's just a really nice activity for us to do together. So it doesn't feel like it's a chore chore in that sense of, oh my gosh, I've got to find extra time to squeeze this in. It's become something that is an activity that we do together. It's fun. He gets to pull things out of a basket and I actually get to do a bit of folding and um, sort of house admin at the same time uh, and you can see he just really enjoys it there is something quite therapeutic about like pairing up the insert with the nappy and then putting it in a pile and creating a pile of reusable wipes which uh side note i love reusable cloth wipes i bought a bunch again from baby greens just because i was on a roll with that order so i thought why not throw some wipes in there as well but i also have some from cheeky wipes which i also really like i basically tried to choose organic cotton reusable wipes i just either wet the wipe so under the tap and then use it or i just take a little bowl over to the changing table and dip the wipe in and use that. We just use water and a little bit of cream, which I did have from look around. Oh, here it is. I've been using this one by Beauty Kitchen. I really like it because they are one of the few brands that do a return and refill program. So is that what you'd call it? A program? You look out for that little symbol at the bottom there and it says return, refill, repeat. Um, it's part of their The Sustainables collection. So this has been lovely to use. I use it as like an all over body moisturizer for myself, for my baby. If you wanted to use a powder, I guess you could use arrowroot powder or cornstarch. Again, we haven't felt the need to use any of that. Okay, so let's talk numbers. I bought around 25 to 30 one size fits most nappies. I think we bought around 10 of the newborn size. I bought about 20 of these boosters and I'm really pleased we did. They've been great at helping to increase the absorbency of the nappies. You can also throw them into like a pair of training pants and I do have a small selection of just pants with an extra bit of um, padding on the inside just made from organic cotton. The brand is called Under the Nile. I don't have any to show you right now but they're really cute and Arthur wears those quite a lot around the home as well. We've ordered about five or six wool outers and just rotate them throughout the day. I guess I should show you the flat nappy that I use for emergencies. It's basically a large piece of material. This brand is called Oh So Cozy I think. Let me find it. Oh so cosy. It's a piece of muslin, I think is what you would call it, made from organic cotton. Uh, so you could use it as a muslin for wiping out the general spills and any bodily fluids. But it can also be folded into various shapes. I'll admit I only do one fold and I can only be bothered to learn one fold because it works for us and um, life is short. And to secure them, you can either use safety pins, you can buy specific 
ones for nappies that are slightly curved and curve away from the baby's body. I have a few of those. I'll be honest, I don't really use them. Um, or you can use one of these, which is called a snappy or a nappy nipper. It's got various names. I believe this one's made from recycled materials. I'll link it in the info box below. Um, and it just has these little teeth that grip onto the material and secure it really quickly, really easily. I think these were a gift from Akala. So thank you, Akala, for sending me these. So you basically lie this out flat, uh, fold it and then fold it again and then pull the top corner across then turn the whole thing over and fold the extra piece of material into the middle to create a an absorbent pad section and then you just fold that up fold the sides over and clip with a nappy nipper slash snappy so that works great if we just want to do a simple nappy for around the house um, or again, like I said, if I've completely forgotten to do the laundry, which has only happened a few times, but I'm just generally bad at remembering to do laundry anyway, I'll be honest. Um, it's got nothing to do with the fact that it, they're cloth nappies and it's extra laundry and it's just taking up my life. But laundry does generally inc increase um, with a baby anyway, so you get food stains on clothing, just things need to be washed more often, um, or there's just more to be washed. Uh, so having an extra load to do of nappies once every couple of days, has felt completely fine. Obviously it was me that was super keen to use the reusables but I'm again very fortunate that my husband was really on board with using them. Uh, I think when I started dabbling with the idea of using foldable flat nappies he was a little concerned that he wouldn't be able to get his head around it but thankfully for everyone especially me in the end um we went with the shaped nappies i will say the flat nappy option is super cheap i mean super economical you can increase the absorbency by buying a few boosters or liners whatever you want to call them again terminology so i've really enjoyed learning how to do my one nappy fold my one fold um with the flats it just feels slightly empowering knowing that i can do that worst case scenario if we run out of nappies i can fold up a piece of material and we're all good. Or do nappy free time, which is something we do quite a bit of. Um, it stresses my husband out a little bit, <laughs> but um, I think for us, it's just been super important to have some nappy free time. Uh, and I also have those little training pants that I mentioned earlier, and you can see they just look really comfortable to wear around the house. So that's a bit of a, an in-between nappy free time and full nappy I have these little training pants i'm going to do a separate video on what we put in our nappy bag which is for out and about like how many nappies i take with us what sort of changing mat we use uh, what sort of wet bag etc i've got a little blinking light in the top corner of my camera screen saying that the battery is running low so it's probably time for me to wrap this up wait a second wrap this up it's a wool wrap hope you've enjoyed this video guys i'll see you next time take care bye you're back. Hey. You have a nice walk. Mwah. Oh, what do you think of cloth nappies? Well, yeah. I've got you on camera. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a thumbs up all around. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Yeah, sorry, I forgot you're the sound guy. Is it is it all up to scratch?